Hi, I'm Heather. I'm back for another really quick video. This one is primarily to do with some potentially regrettable decisions I made on the internet. Um, alright, alright, alright. Uh, it's largely to do with someone on booktube somewhere. Kind of for my life, remember where. I've gone looking for them. Um, they were on about books that they read when they were a kid. I was like, oh, cute. I was thinking about my own kid, blah, blah, blah. But then I started to think about the books that I read when I was a kid and went on the internet, like you're not supposed to do, and fell down a very deep rabbit hole of potential regrets looking at all of the books that I used to read when I was a kid. So I decided, as a bit of a project, um, but also just shamelessly pandering to my nostalgia, um, I was going to find those books again on the internet and read them again, like my favourite ones. Um, but where they were part of a series, I was gonna get new ones of that series as well. So like loads of the series that I used to read, like um, American Girl and like Magic Attic and stuff like that. They have brand new ones, like life continued on beyond me turning into an adult and like abandoning childish things. Um, so I was gonna do like one from when I was a kid and get really excited about reading again some of my favorite ones, but also get like the newer version of this as well and sort of see if they, if they play out together, you know, and see if they, if they've continued on in awesomeness or like everything else as soon as I became an adult all the stuff from my childhood no longer is cool but like whatever right so I like had a lot to drink and then went on the internet like you should never do and got absolutely loads of these they've just been trickling in and I haven't opened them yet so we'll have a go with uh, my kids handy dandy zebra scissors uh, we'll have a go at these okay so first one Ah, uh, yeah! So, this one is Nancy Drew, The Hidden Staircase, but, oh, it's a secret. It's two in one. Secret of the Old Clock is the other one. So, I'm probably just going to read one of these for my project. I always wanted to read The Secret of the Old Clock. I think I used to read different ones, so I've never read this particular one of Nancy Drew. I've read other ones, um, but obviously they didn't make any new ones after I stopped being a kid because it's a really old series, um, but it is mystery story number one and number two so you know might as well start from the beginning as they say <gasps> oh my god 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 <laughs> oh my god are there any like 90s kids out there in booktube land who are absolutely dying about this because this is the exact like I used to love this book, Cowgirl Megan. Like, also, I had the dolls, so it's Magic Attic is the series where, like, all these girls, like, are friends and they go into this attic and then they, like, step through a mirror and they become different things. Like, they go into these, like, adventure land sort of things. Um, so, Megan was one of them. And also, there was a girl named Heather that I used to love because, obviously, I'm a Heather as well. But, like, this is one where she, like, went into the Wild West and she, like, has Wild West adventures. Um, when she steps through the mirror. Um, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. Like, how cheesy and amazing is that? Yeah, Magic Attic. Like, I had the dolls as well. Like, I had a Heather doll and a Megan doll. And they had, like, all these accessories and stuff like that. Oh my god. I'm so excited. Oh my god. It's the exact cover as well. It's the exact cover from when I was a kid. I think this is the exact book as well. Like, it's obviously used. Um, and like what books cost like five bucks anymore? Like this is obviously from the 90s. Oh, amazing. Oh my god, oh my god. Yes! Okay, this one is Goosebumps. I used to love these, but my dad would never buy them for me because he was convinced that I would have nightmares. I'm like, he's probably right because everything gives me nightmares. Um, and I think I did like read a couple in secret and it did give me nightmares. There was like this one about a cuckoo clock where um, the this kid or whatever accidentally went back in time with the cuckoo clock and then when he came back he had like abs like made his sister not exist anymore on accident and that one gave me one hell of a nightmare let me tell you but this one is called say cheese and die what can be scary about that also i'm super old now so it probably will only give me one nightmare instead of several i'm so excited <laughs> This one is Bonicula. 
uh, meets Edgar Allan Crow. So I haven't read this particular book in the series, I only read um, other ones, but it's basically about a rabbit who like comes to join the other pets in the house and he's actually a vampire rabbit. He sucks all the juice out of things and the other pets in the house are terrified of him and have like all these like conspiracy theories about him as a vampire. Um, oh my god, that was gonna be amazing. Felicity. This is part of the American Girl series. So uh, this particular series is a bunch of like kids basically throughout history in America. So you have like a Revolutionary War girl and you have like a Civil War girl and you have like, um, you know, a World War II American girl and you have like um, a Swedish immigrant to America girl in like the 19th century. This is one of my favorite girls like Felicity. She's like um, a Revolutionary War girl and like each of the girls has like four or five books like there's like a meat girl and then girl goes on an adventure and then girl saves the day and like happy birthday girl or whatever so this is meat felicity this is the very first one in like her personal series um and she was my absolute favorite this is the exact cover as well from when i was a kid i remember this exactly like i don't know where these books went like my dad must have just gotten rid of them um like <laughs> Oh my god, and I've always, always, always been obsessed with like, yeah, um, like 18th century like American history. I don't even know why, but even when I was a kid, I absolutely loved this sort of thing. And I think this might have been something that had kicked it off originally. Like this is the birth of my love of like 18th century American craft. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Like please, 90s kids, if you're out there and you can see this, give me some love. How much are you loving this like Felicity book right now and have you kept yours? Do you still have them in your house? Have you thought about selling them for money? <laughs> okay, okay. Oh my god this was like such a good idea. Oh my god I was like Heather I've just wasted loads of money on stuff you're not gonna read. No no this is the best idea ever. Like this is the greatest idea. I'm gonna fall all the way down this rabbit hole and absolutely love the crap out of it. Oh my god just unboxing all this crap. Giving me like the Oh my god, oh my god, this one's amazing. Okay, 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 okay. So, this is one of the ones where I was on about. Okay, so it's obviously an American Girl one, just like our Meet Felicity one. But look, it's like the new version of it. Caroline, I've never heard of her. She's not one of the original girls. If you know anything about her. Um, oh. War of 1812 girl. Oh my god, it's a whole time period they hadn't touched in the 90s. Can't even cope. So it's quite thick actually. It's like a much thicker, thicker girl, you know. Um, but it's still got oh, same cheesy as balls illustrations. Blah, blah, loving. Oh my god, I'm just so excited. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Uh, Carolyn Abbott is doing what she loves most, sailing on Lake Ontario with Papa. When her world turns upside down, a British officer boards their sloop and announces that Britain and America are at war and takes her father prisoner. As Papa is led away, Caroline promises him that she will stay steady and strong until he returns. She tries hard to keep her promise by helping Mama run the family's shipyard. Then the British attack her village and it looks as if the American side is in trouble. Can Caroline stay steady enough to help run the day? We'll see. Oh, wait. This one. Right, so this is a new one from this series. This one is Dear America, The Diary of Piper Davis, The Fences Between Us, Seattle, Washington, 1941. So this Dear America series was one of my favourite series things when I was a kid. And there was like a girl that was on the Titanic, there was um, a girl who was on the Mayflower, um, there was a girl who was like a factory worker in Boston. Like it's sort of a similar thing to American Girl where it's like kids throughout history in America like I'm sensing a theme with things that I liked as a kid and I'm realizing that all of the nerdiness that I have now started very early so why do I feel like there's anything I can do about it ever like it's obviously ingrained pretty deep um but I never so when I was an actual kid there was never one actually to do with Seattle Washington like one one of the places that I'm from and I was living and blah 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 so now that there is one 
I will be reading it. Uh, right, okay. So I also ordered two other ones that should be coming, I think, probably not today, not tomorrow. There's only two other ones. There's Babysitter's Little Sister, uh, which I absolutely loved. And like, I think that was the very first time I ever remember laughing literally out loud to a book. Like there was this part of it where um, the main girl, Karen or whatever, um, she's doing a school play uh, and her friend is like dressed as a chicken and she like leans on this fake kitchen and it falls over. And because I was 10 years old, that absolutely tickled me to death. Um, but also, so there's that one that I've ordered. I don't remember if I've gotten that exact one with the kitchen, but I got a babysitter's little sister one. I used to get them. Um, did you ever do this? In snail mail like clubs. So I was part of the babysitter's little sister club. I had my own identification club card that I used to keep in my wallet. And every month they would send me a babysitter's little sister series book and also some sort of crap, you know, that I just loved, like a poster for my wall or some like crap like this that made me feel amazing um but basically yeah so I ordered one of those and also I got mom is this good for the bath to play with yeah Baba, just take his clothes off oh, can Barbie's go in the bath okay um but the um the other one is rose Okay, uh, so the other one that I got is like this one. So this Magic Attic one that I have from the 90s. Um, the Magic Attic series obviously just kept going, like the American Girl one, so kids today are getting new ones. Um, one of the new girls is Rose. I think she's supposed to be like um, Native American, something like that, I don't really know a lot about her. Um, but I think the one that I got is something to do with about music, like she's a musician or she plays some sort of instrument or something like that. So um, I'll be able to compare classic Megan to new and updated Rose in the Magic Attic collection. Okay, right. So it's those two that haven't come yet. Um, and then also these guys here, I'm going to have literally the world's greatest time reading these. And then I will let you know how they were at the end. Uh, there'll be much alcohol involved and also much nerding out. And this is going to be the greatest time ever. I'm so glad that I thought of this as a project. Right, I'm gonna go get on this. Uh, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, I don't know why you would unless you're like a weird 1990s nerd in America like me. Um, but if you did, please like and give my channel a subscribe. Uh, if you have anything to say about this, please, please, please let me know in the comments if you loved these or maybe even if you have nothing to do with these at all but you also have like a weird nerdy attachment to the books that you read when you were a kid. If you ever thought about reading them again as adults, blah, 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 just let me know. I absolutely want to hear about that. Um, right. Okay. Bye.